I am a hyper polyglot giga chad alpha male. Assalamu alaikum ida bro pajalovits na moy kanal. My legal birth name is language simp and I am here with my idol, the one and only self-described language grandpa. Steve Kaufman. Steve, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, in English, or I could do uh, ancient Albanian, uh, you know. <laughs> or it, 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 not yet. <laughs> in English? Yeah, yeah, just do it in American. Okay. So, I'm a language grandpa. I live in Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, the last, you know, 15, 20 years of my life, I've basically been committed to, you know, doing videos on YouTube about language learning. I've learned a bunch of languages. I don't learn them as well as language simp, but I enjoy myself. But for most of my career, I was a businessman in the lumber business. Uh, but I am a grandpa. I have five grandchildren. The oldest granddaughter is 26 years old. This is the collab of the century between two very different characters in the polyglot community. I am a newbie Gen Z meme god polyglot and Steve is a post-war boomer guru polyglot with decades of experience. This man inspired me to become a language YouTuber and his content taught me how to learn languages. So I was so excited to finally meet him. He's also posting a video on his channel so I'll leave a link to it in the description. For this video, I asked my friends to record audio clips speaking in different languages and Steve Steve needs to try to guess which language he's listening to. And we tried hard to make these languages as difficult as possible to identify. Hey Steve, this is a hard one to get started with, but I hope you'll do well in this challenge with Language Simp. You're both very handsome and successful men. <laughs> do you know the language? Uh, geez, you know, it's, uh, it's called lying. What do you mean? We're not handsome and successful men? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say they're trying trying to curry, sycophant, sycophant language, <laughs> trying to curry favor. What language is it? English. Hey Steve, you wait ekki hvort þú vitir hvaða tungumál ég er að tala en ég veit að þú ert búin að vera stútira mjög svipuð tungumál. A little bit more I challenging. I have no idea, but it, it's certainly, it's, it's a Euro it sounds to me like a European language. Um, I don't know, Estonian? I don't know, Latvian, something in there? You okay. speak languages that are in this family, so you should have a general okay. idea. Icelandic. Yes, correct. <laughs> yes, two for two. Yeah, yeah, once you said yes, yes, yes. So I started to hear some Germanic words there. Steve, Sally, shall I see you in the shell, then sell the shell shell net. Shall I see you in the shell, then sell the shell shell. I stumped again. <laughs> it is, I'll tell you what, it's a very, it's a tongue twister and a very rare dialect of this language, but think of a language that has a lot of different goofy dialects. Maybe it's Arabic? <laughs> no, it's not Arabic. Um, it is, any other guesses? Uh, yeah, I, I'm stumped. I mean, it's a tongue twister, twister, so that makes it even more difficult, but uh, uh, swing and a miss. We can't make it easy for you, but uh, it is German, actually. It is Badish oh. German. Have you heard of Baden? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yep, so it's one of those uh, goofy alemanic oh, you got dialects. Me. You got you huh? got me. Hi, Kifa Xif Sava. Heta Krahata Dubai, Saudi, Yemen, Oman, or Syria. I'm not sure if you're a person who's a Like, you're a person who's 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 a Haliji, maybe that's the Gulf uh, dialect. I don't know. Did you listen to the very start again? Okay, the very very start. Okay. I'll stop it after that. Hi, Kifak Steve Sava. Kifak Steve Sava. Yeah, it's a mixture of French. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's Lebanese. They so say maybe Sava it's Algerian. Oh, it's Lebanese. Okay. All right. Yes. Oh, that was Albanian Sign Language. It was, in fact. Do you speak any ancient Albanian Sign Language? Uh, well, I can say a few things that I learned, like... <laughs> Do you understand that? Yeah, I completely understand that. That was There was no accent <laughs> whatsoever. Fantastic. Well, this is also some form of Arabic, maybe a tongue twister in Arabic. For real? You thought that was Arabic? No way. I heard the word mustamea. mustamea. No, it, it is not Arabic, but I'm curious of your Arabic. How, how good are you with your eins and qaw? Ein. Ein. 
<laughs> so powerful. Love it. So this Rhein. language. There's Rhein and Ein. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So this language, you've probably heard of it, but you don't know much about it. It's called Tokipona. Are you familiar? Nope. It is Never. a. It's, it's almost like Esperanto. It's a conlang, but it only has 140 words. What's your opinion on no. conlangs? Do you have any? Would you ever study them or no? No. <laughs> Steve, te juro que no estoy hablando español. Te sonará que sí, pero en realidad estoy hablando otro idioma que no tiene nada que ver. Well, to me, he sounds like he's speaking Spanish. But did you understand what he said? Yeah, he says he's not, no estoy hablando español, but he está hablando español. <laughs> so what's your answer? Otro idioma que no tiene nada que ver. But it's not, it's not Catalan. It's, it's, to me, it's, it's Spanish. I don't know. Te juro que no estoy hablando español, pero estás hablando español. Dijo que no estaba hablando español, Steve. Is he lying? Okay. So, I don't know. So Spanish is your final answer. Yeah. You're correct. Okay. Hej, och känna Ling och Steve. Så tjao om jag inte ser sin skandinavska historia om det pravda. Så vi hade vikingufjäst till Kavi, IP och en rysning till Jemnitz. Till Kavi is like, till Kavi, there's a word for interest from a Slavic language, but it sounded his Scandinavian. Uh, I don't know. Maybe some uh, dialect out of Dalarna or something. I don't know. Uh, that is a Polish with a Swedish accent. Oh, <laughs> is that what it is? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Steve well, that's Japanese. Did you understand what was said? You know how it is. You start into it, you don't know what's coming at you, but after a while, you know, uh, and uh, happy to talk to Steve Kaufman. And in communicating, it's very important to be able to anticipate. Yes. And we understand when we anticipate. And if we're put in a situation that we're not familiar with, actually, it's difficult, even the language that we know well, if we haven't been in that situation before or we can't anticipate what's going to happen. So these tests are difficult. It takes you a few uh, words before you realize what's happening. Yes, for sure. And the question on everyone's mind watching this right now is, does Steve Kaufman like anime? Because something I say on my channel is, most people who study Japanese, they do it to watch anime. So we're wondering what your favorite anime is. I'm 77 years old. I have zero interest in anime. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Tagid, Steve, lama behemet etkhalta lilmod japanit? Yakhol yot shezeh ki ato ev anime? Ani lo shofetet otcha. Ani meta al animot be'atzmi. Hayya. Well, Arabic again, asking me if I like watching anime. <laughs> so it's actually not Arabic. Oh, I hear words that suggest Arabic, but uh, maybe it's, I don't know, Amharic or something. I don't know. It's, uh, it's Hebrew. Have you ever studied Hebrew? Oh, Hebrew. Yeah, I, I went to visit Israel and I spent uh, a couple of weeks trying to learn Hebrew. I found it very difficult. And when I got to Israel, I could get by with English, French or Russian. And uh, so I gave up because I went over to Jordan and realized there's an awful lot more people who speak Arabic than speak Hebrew. Boy, I'm really doing well here. Salam, Steve. Zma panazar di chita daghjab na pejna pataqa tar daghar pchalak dumra tajruba na lerida daghjab sara am chita bawai chida de Kurdian jabada. Kurdish. No, that's a, that's a tough one. We specifically threw the right. Kurdish tajrub, word. I heard the word tajrub, which is experience in Persian. But it, I couldn't quite make it out as, as Persian, so, but I thought I heard the word Kurdish there, Kurd, so I guessed at it. It is, it is in the region, you're, you're close. So it's not Farsi, it's not Kurdish, um, what else have we got? It's, it could be Assyrian or Aramaic or something? It is Pashto. Pashto, you know, I was going to say Pashto. I was <laughs> oh, sure you were going to say Pashto, pashto. sure. I then was going to say. Uh, then why I didn't you say it, Steve? <laughs> Wesh, Steve. Telaformon riff. Sukap le verlan. C'est un truc de ouf. C'est super zarbi. Tête de See, Mer. <laughs> Where do you get these languages? So I'll tell you, this is uh, one of your best languages. Well, uh, 
I, I tell you, you're, you've got me stumped. Are you familiar with uh, the word wesh in French? The no. slang way to say No. You've never heard wesh? No. If you're greeting a friend, you'd say like, uh, wesh mon ref, ça va? You've never heard that? Okay. No, no, no. You're more of the uh, <laughs> academic, uh, l'académie française yeah, type guy, Somewhat more that way inclined, yeah. <laughs> Give me some Balzac, uh, you know, audiobook read by, uh, you know, a famous French actor. Kind yeah. of thing. That's more my style. <laughs> 저는 조선민중주의 애민공화국에서 왔습니다. 스티브 동지, 조선 말을 좋아합니까? 아름답지요? 한국어. When did you learn Korean? How long has it been? I've been at it for a long time. Like I was in Korea in 72. I didn't start studying it then, but uh, since 1980, off and on, every so often I go at Korean for a while and then I leave it. Yeah, it's not one of the, it's not one of my, when I, I say I have like 10 or 12 languages that I can easily flip into now and have a serious conversation, Korean is not one of those. Gotcha. But it wouldn't take me very long. Uh, I have a number of languages like that that are kind of on the verge if I would only spend the time with them. Hey Steve, znam si učio moj jezik, ali me zanima da li možeš da pogodiš odakle dolazim. Takođe, da li bi ikada nastavio da učiš ovaj jezik? Veliki pozdrav. Well, that's a uh, South Slavic language, um, I think. So maybe I'll, I'm going to take a wild stab at Slovenian. Slovenian? No, it is Serbian. Serbian. Okay. No, that is, I figure because you're always trying to stump me. <laughs> Obviously, Serbian, Croatian is kind of the more likely thing. So I said, no, I'm going to fool them and go for Slovenian because <laughs> I don't know any of those languages. It's been a pleasure playing this game with you, Steve. I hope that you enjoyed yourself. I enjoyed it. I, I just want to say that I basically struck out on most of them. And I think the message for language learners is be prepared to strike out a lot and still enjoy it. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you very much, Steve, for coming on. I really appreciate it. Everyone go check out his channel in the, in the link below and uh, I will see you later. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.